Let's go! Greetings everyone, it's Rimbard here. I hope you have a fantastic day and we have finally hit the end. The road for Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, I am I'm excited for this. I haven't played the Animal Antics stage in about oh, 14 years, I'm gonna say. Maybe mm, actually maybe about 12. I, I I must have been about 20 odd when I finally beat this stage. But this is actually the first time I've legitimately beat in this game. Um, what I mean by that is that when I first played through it as a kid, uh, there was a cheat that would get you the 75 creme coins from the word go. So it meant that you didn't have to find all the bonus areas. So when I first, last time I did this, I actually used that cheat to get all the creme coins that I needed. And yeah, so this is, this is actually a legitimate, um, full completion of this game. Let me grab my headset. And we can dive into the final clubber kiosk. Pay up. And we are going to do animal antics, which... Oh, I hate this stage so much. <laughs> this stage gave me so much trauma. Now, I think, as at the Rambi bit, we can just literally just, like, charge. And we don't really need... Yeah. <laughs> That's the Rambi section done. We could just literally charge through it and you're good. And now um, we move over to here, go to on guard. Now, as you may have guessed, the whole point of the animal antic stage is you do a series of challenges as all the different animal companions. Uh, ho, 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 how did I survive that? I shouldn't have. And, woo, you had some zooms on you, didn't you, buddy? Well, sucks to be you. I'm better. It's not like a terribly long stage from my recollection. Oh, dear. Ah, here we go. And then we get the halfway point. But it, it, it is... It's the state, it's not this bit that's problematic. Because playing a squitter is actually quite easy. He's actually quite good. No, it's it's the next step that I remember being so traumatic as a child. And again, keep in mind, I say as a child, because this was a game that I was playing back in like the 90s oh geez my um my gaming skills hadn't quite like come through yet you know i was that idiot who when i played pokemon i only ever gave my pokemon attacking moves there we go knew the bonus the stage i know <laughs> knew the bonus power was right i'm the jack But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I still do have fire lives given my Pokemon only um, attacking moves with the odd um, giving them, what's we call it, not just attacking moves. Um, with with you know, state, obviously, status moves like uh, Thunder Wave is always quite good, but I love. <laughs> what was the point? What was the gosh damn point? <laughs> Because I'm just going to go into this barrel and go up to the squawk section, which, as you can imagine, is in the brambles. And yeah, and you may notice there's some leaves, like, fluttering around. And if we remember from Yusky Gale and um, Windy Well, yes, this section has wind and you have to use squawks to fly in a windy environment oh no it is not a good time you've just got to be very careful you've just got to be very particular with your movements and even right now i am just struggling so much because obviously you got you just got to be a bit careful because once once the wind is behind you um, you accelerate so quickly. So really, this, this, oh, mm. 
<laughs> this entire section is just about taking it slow. But you can't take it too slow because you are just... We're doing quite well. Uh, oh my word. Yeah, you're really, you really, you, you kind of want the wind to be your, um, you want the wind to set your, um, set your speed here. No, I've got to be careful because you, oh no. Oh, yes. Oh. And yeah, there, there's still a rattly section. Thankfully, I believe the section is relatively straightforward. As long as I get a, oh my word. Oh, okay. Mm, I really don't like that at all. Bounce on those. Oh, feck. Oh, I really don't like this at all. I can, oh, yes. It's, oh, no. No. <laughs> No! Absolute. Like. Can't believe it. I can't believe I got that far. And that is where I freaking failed. I, I forgot those barrels are ones that just immediately shoot you out. Because I'm... I was thinking more about the ones that have like that star pattern on it that do that. I mean, the arrow ones do as well, but I just. I'm so stupid of me. So, that was a rookie mistake. Right. Oh. Okay, here we go. We're back at the squawks, squawks section. No, we still have to do the the short little squitter, the squitter climb, which sounds like a a squitter climb sounds like an awful like um, compromising position to find yourself in, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go, Squawks. We can do this, can't we? Oh, no. Seriously. We can do this. I believe in myself. I have I have the confidence of a level one Bethesda bandit who is, who is staring down the barrel of a level 30 character. A barrel. Barrel is probably the. I mean, no, I mean, I mean, bar barrel will be right for Donkey Kong context, but you know, I've just got to make sure that I get to oh the next section with. Oh, I want to get to the next section with both Kongs intact, just so I've got that safety blanket. Oh, oh my word, that just, the wind is just so evil. Honestly, like, ah, oh, crud. Oh, yes. Right, okay, we're going to do this again. Bong Rattly, we could do this. Oh, my God. I'm scared. No! I should have... No! But yeah, um... Talk about being a level one... The reason... That, that was a conversation I was having with a friend of mine. Actually, I was having a conversation with my friend Teru. Um, I can't remember what we were talking about confidence. Um... Generally, someone who lacks in confidence. That is me. 
Oh, I have to admire the um, the sheer tenacity of, you know, your, your level one bandit um, who sees the 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 player character and kind of goes, see, yeah, see, sees him in his full daedric play and kind of goes, hey. I can take this guy and th th there is an element where i understand that that bandit is probably looking at you thinking if I if i can take this guy down i'm set for life and there's an element where i can kind of understand and appreciate the hustle there but it's also ridiculously stupid <laughs> particularly if it's a group of bandits and this group of bandits just sees you, like, absolutely ruin everyone's day. And that bandit is still like, I bet I can take him. You know, his Daedric sword, his Daedric Greatsword only does 250 damage. <laughs> or, or has a, yeah, a power stat of 250. I, I don't know, I, I can't quite think how I'm... Not quite sure how Skyrim does all that. I don't know if that value is a damage value or if it's a um, like a, an actual sort of damage value or if it's a um, it's a, a number that gets plugged into a calculator. I know in I think it's in Fire Emblem Four. If your opponent has no chance to hit you, they won't even bother trying to attack you, which, you know, is kind of helpful. Particularly when you've got a character like, um... Ivor, I think her name is? Who, um, can quite easily, like, get ridiculous... Can get ridiculous speed. Oh, no, I did it again! Has, has a really good speed group, can get ridiculous speed stat. Making her very difficult to hit. Ooh, there was a part of me that thought I was going to clip. <laughs> I thought I was going to clip the bloomin'. Um, what's one call it? Okay, so with this clamp on. Right, gotcha. Alright. I can do this. I believe in myself. I have the confidence and self-belief. Oh no! Oh, oh no! That is that's deep. And there we go. Jesus, that's awful. I was thought it was gonna shoot me up and there's gonna be another barrel up there, but no. Oh, it's evil. And there we go. We have Crocodile Core, which is the final fight against Captain K. Rool himself. He's covered in seaweed and he shot up some fish because, you know, he he had a bad time in Kem. Kem? In Krem Key. Oh, okay, I think he's. Yeah. But he, he's sort of showing the pattern that he's, uh... Okay, one, two, three, not too bad. Should be relatively easy. Oh. And then he's going to do, yep, one, two, yep. Yeah. Oh! That I was not expecting, okay. Cool. Oh. There we go, and... Ah, oh, gotcha! 40 DK coins. Nice! And he yeets himself into the crocodile core. Oh my word. This is the second time I've ever done this. Like, ever. 
Nice going, kid. I can only approve a new game here when I've finished it all. I did finish it all. Thank you, Cranky, for noticing. Let's get out of this miserable dump and get back to Donkey Kong Island. I always wanted to know what arcade game that was he had there. And look at that. Back to see me again, eh, Sunny? Let's see if you've improved your hero status, shall we? Also, I like the No Hope is there, has uh, the Sonic shoes and the uh, Up on Jim's gun. I'm not afraid to admit it. Did he, my boy? Even I'm wrong occasionally. You're as big a hero as they come. You must take after me and Donkey. Well done. Oh, my word. And there goes K. Roll. I suppose what's interesting about this is it says it's like the true ending and it's actually quite a bit of a a bum no ending when you think about it because he gets away after all that we did King K. Rool still gets away and that's a little bit frustrating I suppose and there we go 100% now I didn't get I think you can get up to 102% in this game and in order to do that, I think you've got to get... I think you do have to get all the Kong letters, but I'm not going to worry about that. 100%. Oh, that is just... That's satisfying, seeing that 100% there. I'm not going to lie. I am so happy with that. <laughs> As I said, this was... um. Oh! <laughs> Second time ever that I've beaten this game. And, and, and this game, it, it's very nostalgic for me it's just one of those things i remember playing again and again and again and it, it's kind of a bit like the star fox thing that, that happened last year when i managed to get a perfect score on the third route and it, it just it gives me the sense of like personal like satisfaction that i've actually done it that i've i've experience everything that i wanted to experience with the game and um it's gonna be sad the next time i play this and i remember that i have done it i, I i've beaten it i've, I've 100 percent in this game but at the same time it's nice just to put a pin in a game and just say this is done this is completed i have done this one it's a lot longer than donkey Kong country one let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> and it is, it is a lot harder but next year we're going to have a bit of an interesting one because i do intend to play donkey kong country 3 which i only ever played a little bit of um not a huge amount because i just you know i play it i'm like yeah you know it's all right and i just never get that far with it i think i managed i, I think i've hit in my most recent save before, i've hit the second world and that, that's all i've done it's just Every time I play it, it just I, I never get that far with it. Ryan's beaten it. I remember he was telling me that it's actually quite good. <laughs> but we'll be checking out Donkey Kong Country 3 next year. So if you want to see that, remember that's going to be in 2024. <laughs> Jesus. Um, it's weird to think about sometimes. But when I think about things that I'm going to be doing next year. But I think with that all said... Ah, uh, I think I've got a couple of days in Nintendo left. I think I've got to play. I mean, I've got Majora's Mask that I'm playing. Um, that's taking a little bit longer than I had anticipated, mostly because of the nonsense with trying to find the Deku Mask and Fire Arrows and all that kind of stuff. But um, we found them. We got them <laughs> in the end. <laughs> now I'm saying this and I'm hoping that that video has gone up. I'm pretty sure it has. I've got a spreadsheet with everything sort of like, boom, this is when this one goes up. This is when this one's going up. This one is when this one's gone up. And it all checks off and it all like looks very nice and shiny. That's all done. Anyway, with that all said, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. There'll be just a tiny bit of Nintendo left to go. And with that all said, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. <laughs>
Bye for now. <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining me on this 100% completion of Donkey Kong Country 2 for Nintendo 2023. <laughs> if you haven't seen Nintendo 2022, it's right there. It's the playlist. Just click it. Click it already. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's a button there for that too. Anyway, with that said, I hope you all enjoy this. I have had a tremendous time on Donkey Kong Country 2. And... Honestly, if you haven't played it yourself, play it. It's a good game. It's solid. <laughs> and we will see what we do with the rest of the last couple of days of Nintendo. And we'll have a good time, I promise. <laughs> Catch you around.